Greens, Kent Bradshaw, Johnny Greens on that second row, Brad LaMarche, a guy to look for with Ross Hook, Scott Douglas in the field. These are the best of the best, faster trucks, higher horsepower, a little heavier in weight, and you look at those 440 C, uh, cubic inches, but the deal is they can't run the RPMs. That was a rule change. They are limited to 8,200 uh, RPMs as we look at that starting lineup. 8,200 is nowhere near the 10,000 that CJ was wanting to run last year. Yeah. Changed uh, quite a few things, but uh, one thing hasn't changed. It's still out in front as they come to the restart. Pro two wheel drives, the biggest, the baddest, and now let's line them up. Nine left, so we have that competition caution. And CJ Greaves with an excellent start. I'm not even seeing Keegan out there on that, on that front row. Keegan Kincaid in the two. There he is back there in the back. And CJ and Johnny Hammer and Tong, and Johnny going to the inside. Oh, he put his truck in there, and of course, that's CJ. Yeah, he put it in there. Well, it was Johnny took from his... Uh, Johnny's, yeah. Johnny's out in front now. CJ on that muted Monster Energy truck, the 33 in second. They look very similar. Scott Douglas, like we said, putting himself in a podium position. Because I feel like if there's someone that can really take it to the Grease family, it's probably Scott Douglas. Kincaid, another one. He lost a little bit of ground there, but watch this. All of a sudden now, CJ goes to the outside. He wants to go right back off his father. Say, hey, Dad. Oh, and then we see so CJ's down. slowing down, oh, uh, and everybody's slowing down. It looks like we might have a full course yellow. Yep, LaMarche is, off the looks track. like he's going to have to be towed. Looks like he's in a pretty good spot. Nope, that's where they had to turn around. It's like, it looks like he's behind a concrete barrier. Area. So it looks like we will have not a full start, but a nose-to-tail start. They got one lap done, so Escondido, Toyota is going to be leading our field the next time around and will pull off but yeah single row start this time so they at least completed one lap well for these guys it's going to feel like a marathon race at this rate so the restart of the pro two wheel drives literally only one lap in the books johnny leads cj greaves Scott Douglas in third, Keegan Kincaid fourth, but it's a pair of Toyota power plants in front. And oh, the 22 squares up, takes that really tight inside line. Johnny, it's a mistake. CJ, does he have a chance? He's got the corner there. Johnny has to get the door slightly open. CJ puts on the inside. Can he get the power to the ground? Johnny keeps the foot in the throttle, but jumps off the track. CJ's going to be square, but Johnny's set up for this right-hand turn. CJ, if I was him, I'd just rail that outside cushion, carry the momentum. Johnny got a good hookup from the inside. That's the beauty of a Pro 4. You got all four wheels pulling you out of the slowest turn of the track, just enough to hold them out front. That was really good. And then the big difference, like you said, Grant, the Pro 4 wheel drive, able to cut underneath just about anybody. And you know, I'll be pulling with all four wheels. Let's go to Kate Osborne. Well, the Johnny Greaves and CJ Greaves battle is continuing Pro 4 this year. I talked to Johnny earlier today, and he says he thinks that his UTV testing and driving this winter really has helped him out and being prepared to get in the truck. He said that actually the weight to horsepower ratio is actually quite similar in the UTV. He also said, our CJ and I look like we have the same truck now, right? Well, it's not. Daddy has a new toy this year. His truck is new, where CJ is still using his 2016 truck. And we're looking at the pair of Toyotas, the 22 and the 33, keeping it in the family. C.J. Greaves, Johnny Greaves, Johnny in the 22 entry out of Abrams, Wisconsin, trying to keep C.J. And oh, and we talked about earlier, that inside line's great until you clip that big tra tractor tire. Well, he wasn't trying to, just the truck swapped out. Look at C.J. He's going wherever his dad does it. And his dad probably actually knows where he would go if he's protecting the inside or, or keeping it tight. This going to make things interesting, but still plenty of racing. No need to panic. We're on lap four. Fortunately, got a few laps of green race, green racing together. Johnny, uh, Johnny has his son in his back pocket in two different driving styles. We talk about it year after year, and it's crazy because Johnny's 51 years old. 
CJ's 21 years old, but it's the 21 year old that's usually more reserved, more methodical, and puts the truck where it needs to be. Johnny's more the wide open guy, like you would think the 21 year old would be. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. I feel like they just blend it together now because they're both mild to wild when it counts. And look at this. Oh, Great run thought that time. he had a chance, but drops it back to the outside. So still, father and son in tow. Got a bit of a gap now over Scott Douglas. He's running in a solid third, but not yeah, quite able to keep tabs. Yeah. The front two of the Toyotas just cranking it. You can see the shadows getting dark. This is probably right now the track is at its best. Moisture's coming up. See different lines. And watch this. CJ's going to run. He's going to try and put it up the inside. Johnny's on the outside. No, crossover. CJ takes that really high line. In the back half of this race, they're going to have to take that joker lane. And, and that's going to be interesting as well. But they can't do it the first half of the race. Johnny oh. riding some racing lines, but he's he's also leaving the door open here and there. But th that can actually hurt CJ. He sticks his nose in a place it shouldn't be at that time. If Johnny pulls away. You have a big advantage if you're the John. If you're John. It's Absolutely. Put him in the orbit. Absolutely. Not an orbit, but you give it some, you give it some professional over understeer. Touch. Yes, the professional understeer, you just push him wide. Yeah. Oh, Johnny gets a little squirrely there. And they've been a half a second apart this entire race. It seems like seven lap, uh, on lap seven of 18. After lap nine, they will come across. Johnny gets sideways. CJ does better on that turn, but it really, if you're on this inside, I don't think you're going to drive around anyone, even in the Pro 4 run. Yeah, not, not in Pro 4. Maybe in a UTV or a Pro Light where there's not a lot of horsepower where you can carry the momentum. These Pro 4s pick up speed very quickly straight out of the corner. Seven laps complete. They're on lap number eight. You hear that horsepower? And there's a different line. He ripped really wide that time and kind of straight lined across that yeah. one second. It's tough when you have whoops in a turn. Yeah, exactly. And that's what they're trying to do is take the weight from the outside of the truck and basically neutralize it by straightening up so it doesn't pitch it into a complete what we call fishtail swapping back and forth. But good thing to know is the second of this race with that joker lane, it puts CJ in the driver's seat, in my opinion, because his dad, I think, is going to hold it. One more corner to the competition caution. This is tight. Should be on lap nine then time around, I believe. This is the last night, so it's after last night. CJ had loved to get by, but Johnny had loved to keep him at bay, and we still have that joker lane for the second half. Johnny oh. goes, wait, why? It's happening here. It's happening. We had a pass. CJ was in the spot waiting for a mistake, and a huge mistake out of Johnny Greaves. It kind of felt like it was going to happen. I uh, just was surprised to see it happen on this lap, but you know what? If there was a lap for Johnny to make a mistake, this was the one. Because next time by, break myself, will be competition caution. Look at that. CJ now runs it in deep, loses the drive. His dad up the inside, gets the power to the ground. Johnny's got out of that tight turn very well. And you know what it was? That's the first time CJ had been in front as he took that right hand turn. He was just doing something different. That time he had to do what Johnny does, and he didn't do Johnny's line nearly as well. We're at the competition caution halfway through the pro four wheel drives, and a pair of Greaves are in front. We're just seconds away from the restart, the second half of the Pro 4 will drive. Johnny leads CJ Greaves, but we pack them up, re-rack them, restack them after the competition caution. The man to look for, Keegan Kincaid back in third. What will these guys do when they come around? Do they take the choker lane right off the bat? If they don't, expect Keegan, Scott Douglas to do so. If they do, expect them to do something different. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is the meat and potatoes of the race. Johnny out front. What's he going to do? Does he take the joker? I think if I'm Johnny, I'm going to take it because you got to play the odd card. It's CJ. And he does. CJ set up. It looked like he was trying to charge as hard as he could, square on that outside, and not let third place know what he's going to do, and then dope to the inside. I don't know if that was his best racing line, but it had me guessing what CJ was even going to do. Exactly. And Keegan Kincaid also took the joker lane. So now he's in second, you see them on screen, Johnny and Keegan. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna wait and see when does CJ take it. It looks like it's about a 12 second advantage now for Johnny Green.
campaign is going to be a process. He told me earlier that this is a new truck, a new program, but they were extremely happy when the truck came out of the box. They're going to be working through some little gremlins here and there to try and get it tuned up the way that they like it. But right now, his goal is still to end up to be on top. But the race was with CJ Greaves out in front. He was quicker by a second that last lap because he had a one second advantage coming across the stripe. So he did something different and it paid off. He played it perfectly. I said before, do whatever your father doesn't do. Uh, Johnny had to take the, the joker in my opinion. And I think CJ has more pace. He showed it's been all over his father's rear bumper for the first half of the race. He stayed on track, laid down a killer lap time, carried the momentum, took the lead. And now he basically just has to keep this clean. There's still plenty of racing to go. And you know Johnny is going to have that carrot in front of him, meeting his son, and he's going to bring him back in. This could be very interesting the last few laps. CJ is the rabbit, if you will, in uh, dog racing, and, and he is chasing his son. CJ is the rabbit. Johnny and Green Green just behind that dog trying to chase him down. CJ made a bobble in the right-hand turn. The turn out of makes a little bobble there. So does Johnny get a lot of grip. Sometimes if you see one guy do it, you kind of almost react, but with a big gap here, CJ can take that wider line and do his line that he wants to do. Yeah, he's got just enough room on his father Johnny that he can run his lines. He doesn't have to keep it protective. As we take a little look here, and you watch, watch the 33, little bicycle, shortly followed by... More bicycle? Yeah, dad with a slightly larger bicycle has to counter steer, brings it back. And didn't you, lose much ground. And you let off the throttle sometimes when you see a guy do that because he's having to let off the throttle. When you do that, it causes and you to do the same thing. Because when, when you put these trucks sideways, you actually have to get back on the throttle. Uh, from personal experience, I've learned you cannot pitch it sideways when there's ruts on the brakes. It will hook and flip. So you have to brake and then get the tire spinning there. You see already the rear tire is biting. As long as the front of these, counter steer on the way out. These guys giving everything they got. It's the end of the day, the track is rough, the shadows, the lighting. This is just pure passion. Give it everything you've got and hope your equipment lasts. CJ Greaves, the 2015 and 2016 Tour Champion in the Pro 4 Wheel Drive. His father, Johnny, won Pro 4s in 2010, 2013, 2014, so five championships in pro fours between them as everyone has cleared that joker lane so cj and johnny greaves one and two key he came in third about eight seconds back scott douglas in fourth and a big thing for cj greaves as well is it's a brand new truck for him i mean they were still putting the panels on it let's take a look what happened here to the 22 of johnny greaves oh losing oh. back left left rear interliners only thing hold that there goes oh, a grenade wow. shrapnel yeah. So how long can Johnny hold on, uh, Keegan Kincaid? The best thing that it's could have happened is when, when things went wrong, it was a left rear. Uh, if it's right rear, then that's all the pressure on that tire. Absolutely, it would have really hurt him. Just passed, you can see all the, the rubber on track, so you see the weight transfers to the outside. And if there's someone that knows how to drive an injured truck, it's probably going to be Johnny Greaves. So he won't flick it into this right hand because no. he knows if he's got to ease it, rim, ease it in, ease it in, and ease it out the throttle. Very smart. He's got to nurse this thing. He knows right now, best case scenario is second, worst case scenario is a DNF. Get that second, nurse this truck back to the finish line. As they come across the line, two laps to go. On well, that throttle, he can be harder in these left hand that right hand turn he's really got to pay super attention to you can see just gingerly keeping the weight consistently to the right hand side the johnny greaves who won the first race last year when we came to chicago not going to win this one as long as cj cj greaves has anything to say about it one run by this young guy not competing in pro two and four now focusing seriously on pro four wheel drive and, and we talked about it in the rule changes it hurt probably CJ the most. He ran that smaller motor that turned the most RPMs. If these guys are restricted down to 8,200, CJ's beat of that power was around the 10,000 range. Granted, 2,000 RPMs higher, and he had more to go from that run out. They're having to shift so much earlier, build the truck around more bottom end and torque with this truck in all the trucks than they had before. But really, the Toyotas, I think the rules hurt them the most. But you're not noticing anything. Yeah, I was going to say, 
Uh, I agree with what you're saying. It may have hurt them on paper the most, but uh, look at the results. It's uh, same story, different year. CJ just doing what he does, just a machine, a mutant, a monster mutant at the moment. And taking the victory in 2017, the first time out. Pro 4 wheel drive win goes to CJ Greaves. The Yamaha checker flag comes out for him first, only befitting a Yamaha driver in the UTV category as well. Johnny Greaves in second as the bombs bursting in air, King and Yay rounding out the top three.